Welcome to my body and soul adventure for this week. My last day in Australia. Hi little London, she's over there. Um, I'm at my mum and dad's house. By the time you see this, we will be actually in flight, about to land. And um, I wanted just to share some things with you from my time here, because uh, what's really interesting is when it comes to body and soul, we need to make sure that we're not just concentrating on one part of us. We are tripartite, remember, 100% body, 100% soul, 100% spirit. And um, I've experienced so many realms while I've been here and there's nothing like home. And I love this kitchen. I love all that it represents. I am excited to introduce an, a special guest in a little while uh, for this particular uh, blog because this person is uh, a definite inspiration to me and hopefully will be to you too. Please excuse my fluffy hair. Like, there's nothing like humidity. And I haven't had my roots done for like, don't look. Well, guess what? I put powder. I've got this special like dark brown powder. But anyway, <laughs> I made a decision this morning. I said to my mum, um, should I go get my greys done because they drive me crazy? And she said, yeah, baby, whatever makes you feel good. And then I thought the amount of time that, that that would take away from my last day with her. Um, oh no, forget it. I'll just do the powder and sort it out when I get home. So we're about to leave to go for coffee and a nice chat. And I'm very mindful of age and stage and time and eternity and super grateful for um, this amazing time that I've had with my family. Um, have I been really good with my food? I've actually been better than most times and I'll explain to you why. When I would come back over the last, you know, we've been here this summer for 12, well, sorry, we've been in America um, this summer 12 years. So we moved away uh, nearly 12 years ago because I was so good with my food and exercise and, and I would come over here and I would just want a little bit of everything. And on this trip, I'm like, um, I'm good. I don't need everything. I think I am everything. I actually sent my sister a text this morning when she was at the store and said, oh, can you just please get me one lamington? And I actually thought if she doesn't get the text, that's a sign. No more. <laughs> so I'm just being real. If that's okay, I know real is good. So no lamingtons for me. I do have some wagon wheels. I do have a picnic. I am planning to um, enjoy them tonight, my last night, and not have them uh, to come home to looking forward to preparing for summer so um, really looking forward to introducing you to my special guest in just a moment say hi London she's not the special guest I'm gonna eat your picnic she's gonna eat my picnic that's a very good job <laughs> see you in a minute super excited to be introducing my special guest today it's my daddy Come on, this is Kenneth Gordon Saunders, also known as my daddy and Hi. Da. Yeah, he's awesome. 82, like how phenomenal is he? He's like, eh, legend. Okay, so um, what I love about my parents is that they do look after themselves. They go for medical checks and I just did mine recently and whatever. No one likes to have to do the whole lady check thing, but it's important. Um, and I love the fact that they do look after themselves to the best of their ability. My mum and dad are both 82, been married 57 years, and um, my dad looks better than I've seen him in 20 years. Like, he is trim, he is healthy, he's happy, he's energetic. True. It's true. <laughs> so I thought, um, because, you know, sometimes we can just think about now, we can think about, oh, I've got to fit into something next week, but we're not thinking, what, what am I going to be like when I'm 80? Hi, London. Um, what am I going to be like at the end of my life? I want to have a long life because I want to enjoy my kids and my grandkids. Yes. Um, so the, a couple of things Dad has mentioned, because I'm so proud of him. This is an incredibly, um, this is an accomplishment, Dad. It's an incredibly significant thing for all of us as a family to see you this healthy and happy. And you've been through so many like, health struggles, but you're a yeah. faith man. You believe God, but you also do everything you need to do. So yes. it's not just a matter of saying, oh, whatever happens, I know God's going to take care. You've got to do your thing and God True. does his thing and it's awesome. So tell us about water because you would not drink water. No, <laughs> you no, said, no. you said I'll have a cup of tea. There is water in my tea. And That's right. So tell us about water. True. Well, I didn't. Uh, I always found water didn't Look taste there. so good. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't drink much of it. Uh, and I thought, well, okay, well. I like tea, so I'll just drink tea and not so much water. 
And so the end result was that I ended up in hospital because of it. Uh, it did damage to me, but that damage has been rectified and mm -hmm. I now drink water, great gulps of water before I eat any meal. And you've said you love yes. how you feel right now. Yes, you I love, love how. Feel. Here's I feel another bad. thing. Um, my yes, dad is carbo man. Like, yes. don't mess with a man's potatoes and bread. And no. Anyway, so here he's found these things called yes. um, yes. tip-top things. And yes. I've been enjoying them while I've been here. And he's, he's just made a decision. These yes. taste awesome, they are awesome, yes. they're filling. Yes, and <laughs> they taste well. <laughs> they taste and they taste. They taste good. <laughs> they and then when it comes to green things, you know those yep. things called vegetables. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> here's another That's thing. That's the way I was. If they taste good, yes. he'll eat them. So oh, I've been yeah. making him stir fry broccolini yeah. and yep. he's been eating them. Oh, yeah. But I'm just super grateful to be home now um, and experiencing my beautiful daddy's health and yes. energy and looking forward to more to come. So yes. all the best and listen. Yep. Dad? Yes. It's always a great week. Yeah. To have you, a great week. For sure. Love you. Bye. Bye.